about done with that outlet? Yep, I've got it. Good. Attaching the sink here shouldn't be too tough. Yeah, we don't have any water pipes to sweat. Oh, that's true. Just that plastic pipe to glue in. Yep. We've already put in the hot and the cold water pipes and the drain pipe underneath here. Now we need to finish the process by connecting all these stub out pipes to the sink, disposal, and dishwasher. We're using a special type of shutoff valve for the hot water here. It's got two outlets. One's for the sink, one's for the dishwasher. A double sink like this is pretty common in most kitchens. They come in a wide variety of styles and faucet choices. Now it's a good idea to follow the directions on how to install these faucets pretty closely because they're all different. Luckily, the drain assemblies are pretty much standard. Put some plumber putty around like so. Jojo, could you help me lift up the sink here? Sure. Okay, let's, let's, let's get this up like so. We put the strainer in, press it down a little. Then we take this brass threaded ring with a couple of washers and screw that on like so. The drain for the garbage disposer has similar flanges, and these come with the disposer. Okay, let's get this thing in. All right, now we just set the sink in place. The flange around the edge will support it on the countertop or on the opening. Okay. Now I can use these soft copper tubes to make the connection from the faucets to the shutoff valves. The first pieces connect to the underside of the faucet and hang down. Now that those are secured, we can take these shorter lengths of pipe and attach them to the tops of the valves. Now the key here is to line up these pipes with one another. So we'll need to do some bending. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to make a mark at the bottom of the threads here. And that's where I'm going to make my cut. A nut and a ferrule goes on the cut end. And we're going to try to match them up. A couple of twists with the wrench. And that should do it. Are you ready for me? Yeah, supply lines are all set. OK, well, I'll hook this thing up. To mount the disposer, I push it up to the bottom of the drain. There's a ring that turns and attaches to the flange, like so. First, we secure the drain to the disposal unit, and we attach the tailpiece to the sink drain. Next, we extend the tailpiece with an ABS fitting, and we glue on a T to tie in the disposal, and we connect that with horizontal pipe. Finally, we extend the drain pipe out from the wall, and we complete the drain by installing the trap. And the last thing we want to do is tighten the disposal in its final position. Now, every drain is going to have a different configuration, so you'll have to experiment a little bit and use your ingenuity to get everything to fit just right. And straight in Got should that. do it. Right. Here we go. Oh, it's good. Perfect. The last connection we'll make will be to hook up the dishwasher to the fittings underneath the sink. Now, with this unit, we needed to get it in place and get it all leveled and secured before we can make any connections. There you go. First, I feed this flexible drain hose through a hole in the side of the cabinet. You got this yet, Dean? Yep, I've got it. I take the hose, put a hose clamp over the end of it, then I connect the hose to the end of the waste discharge. And using a screwdriver, I tighten down the hose clamp over the end of the waste discharge. Now I take the other end of the hose, put a short piece of copper in it. I slip the adapter over it and tighten down the hose clamp. Now the adapter goes up and into the outlet on the side of the disposer. This way, the wastewater will go into the disposer and then into the drain system. Now, to run hot water to the dishwasher, we run this 3 8 inch soft copper tube over to the threaded angle adapter. 
The other end of the pipe goes into the second outlet of our hot water shutoff valve. 